Welcome to Passion Travel. Join us as we explore fascinating destinations, uncover hidden gems, and embark on unforgettable journeys. Subscribe now and ignite your passion for travel. Pasta box is pasta served in a takeout box with a variety of sauces, like marinara, pesto, or cream-based. Pasta boxes are a great option for street food because they're easy to serve, customizable, and perfect for on-the-go eating. The base of a pasta box typically includes cooked pasta and a variety of toppings and sauces. Below is a breakdown of ingredients to prepare a basic pasta box with a few variations. Base Ingredients for Pasta Pasta, choose any variety, such as penne, fusilli, spaghetti, or farfalle. About 80-100 g of dry pasta per serving, roughly 1 cup. Olive oil, for cooking the pasta and or tossing with the sauce. Sauce options. Tomato-based sauces, e.g., marinara, arrabbiata, or bolognese. Canned tomatoes or tomato passata. Garlic, minced. Olive oil. Onions, finely chopped. Italian herbs, oregano, basil, thyme. Chili flakes, optional, for heat. Sugar, optional, to balance acidity. Cream-based sauces, e.g., Alfredo or Carbonara. Heavy cream. Butter. Parmesan cheese, grated. Garlic. Nutmeg, a pinch, optional. Salt and pepper. Pesto sauce. Fresh basil, or other herbs like spinach or arugula for variations. Garlic. Pine nuts, or walnuts for cheaper option. Olive oil. Parmesan cheese, grated. Lemon juice, optional. Vegan slash plant-based sauce, for dairy-free options. Tomato sauce, basic marinara. Vegan pesto, made with nutritional yeast instead of parmesan. Cashew cream, for a creamy, dairy-free option. Protein options, optional, for added flavor. Grilled chicken breast, sliced. Ground beef or pork, for bolognese. Meatballs, small, bite-sized. Shrimp, sautéed with garlic and olive oil. Grilled tofu, for a vegetarian option. Bacon or pancetta, crispy, for a carbonara-style pasta. Vegetable add-ins, optional. Mushrooms, sautéed. Spinach, fresh or sautéed. Zucchini, sautéed or grilled. Peas, fresh or frozen. Cherry tomatoes, roasted or raw. Bell peppers, sautéed or roasted. Olives, green or black, sliced. Sun-dried tomatoes. Cheese options, for garnish or mixing. Grated Parmesan, classic Italian option. Mozzarella, fresh or shredded. Feta cheese, crumbled, works well with Mediterranean-style pasta. Vegan cheese, for dairy-free options. Seasonings and garnishes. Fresh basil, chopped. Crushed red pepper flakes, for heat. Lemon zest, for a refreshing citrus touch. Salt and pepper, to taste. Freshly ground black pepper. Chopped parsley, for freshness. Toasted pine nuts, for a crunchy texture. Balsamic glaze, optional, for a sweet savory finish. Optional add-ins, for added flavor and texture. Capers. Anchovies. Chili oil, for extra spice. Toasted breadcrumbs, for a crunchy topping. Basic instructions for preparing pasta boxes. Cook the pasta. Bring a large pot of salted water to a boil. Add your pasta and cook according to the package instructions, usually 8 to 12 minutes, depending on the type of pasta. Drain and toss with a little olive oil, to prevent sticking. Prepare the sauce. For tomato-based sauce, heat olive oil in a pan, saute garlic and onions, then add canned tomatoes and herbs. Simmer for 15 to 20 minutes until thickened. For cream-based sauce, melt butter in a pan, add garlic, then pour in heavy cream and simmer until thickened. Stir in parmesan and seasoning. For pesto, blend fresh basil, garlic, pine nuts, parmesan, and olive oil in a food processor until smooth. Assemble the pasta box. 
Take a takeaway box or similar container. Add your cooked pasta and pour your chosen sauce over it, mixing until evenly coated. Add any protein, chicken, meatballs, shrimp, tofu, and vegetables, spinach, mushrooms, etc. Top with cheese, grated parmesan, mozzarella, etc., seasonings, and any garnishes. Serve, serve warm or store for later. If serving for an event or street food, keep the pasta warm in insulated containers and allow customers to choose from a variety of sauces and toppings. Fish and chips, classic Irish dish, often served in a paper cone or box. Typically battered cod with crispy fries. Fish and chips is a classic, beloved dish of British and Irish cuisine, consisting of battered and deep-fried fish, typically cod or haddock, served with crispy fried potatoes. It's a simple yet incredibly satisfying meal, often enjoyed with a squeeze of lemon, malt vinegar, or tartar sauce. Here's a basic recipe for preparing fish and chips. Ingredients For the fish 4 pieces of white fish fillets, cod, haddock, or pollock are ideal. Skinless, boneless, and around 150-200g per fillet. 1 cup, 125g, all-purpose flour, for batter and dredging. 1 teaspoon baking powder, helps create a light, crispy batter. 1 teaspoon salt, for seasoning. Half a teaspoon black pepper. 1 teaspoon paprika, optional, for a slight smoky flavor. 1 cup, 240 milliliters, cold sparkling water or cold beer, helps create a light, crispy batter. 1 egg, optional, to help thicken the batter. Oil for frying, vegetable oil or sunflower oil works best. For the chips, fries. 4 to 5 medium potatoes, starchy potatoes like Maris Piper or russet potatoes are ideal. Salt, to taste. Oil for frying, vegetable or sunflower oil. Optional accompaniments. Malt vinegar, for drizzling. Tartar sauce, for dipping. Lemon wedges, for squeezing. Peas, mushy or regular, a common side dish. Instructions. Prepare the chips, fries. Peel and cut the potatoes into thick fries, about half an inch thick. Rinse the potatoes under cold water to remove excess starch, which helps make the chips crispier. Parboil the potatoes, place the potato slices in a saucepan of cold water and bring to a boil. Let them cook for about 5 to 7 minutes, until they're just beginning to soften. Don't overcook them. Drain the potatoes, then let them sit for 5 minutes to steam dry, ensuring they don't get soggy. Heat the oil in a deep fryer or large pan to around 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Fry the potatoes in two stages. First, fry for 3 to 4 minutes until they start to soften but aren't golden yet. Remove and drain them on paper towels. Once all the potatoes are par-cooked, fry them again for 5 to 6 minutes or until they're golden and crispy. Remove and drain on paper towels and immediately season with salt. Prepare the fish. Pat the fish fillets dry with paper towels. This helps the batter stick better. Dredge the fillets lightly in some plain flour to create a dry surface. This helps the batter adhere. Make the batter. In a mixing bowl, combine the flour, baking powder, salt, pepper, and paprika, if using. Gradually whisk in the cold sparkling water, or beer, until you get a smooth batter. If using beer, it adds a subtle flavor and crispiness to the batter. Beat in the egg, optional, for a slightly thicker batter. Fry the fish. Heat oil in a deep fryer or large, deep pan to around 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. You can test the temperature by dropping in a small amount of batter. If it sizzles and rises to the surface, the oil is ready. Dip the floured fish fillets into the batter coating them evenly. Carefully lower the battered fish into the hot oil, one at a time, being careful not to overcrowd the pan. Fry for about 4 to 5 minutes, or until the batter is golden and crispy, and the fish is cooked through, internal temperature should reach 145 degrees Fahrenheit or 63 degrees Celsius. Remove the fish from the oil and drain on paper towels. Serve.
serve the hot, crispy fish alongside the golden chips. Optionally, drizzle with malt vinegar or serve with lemon wedges for a tangy kick. Tartar sauce makes a great dipping option. You can also serve with mushy peas or regular peas for a traditional touch. Gourmet Burgers local food trucks and stands often serve gourmet burgers with unique toppings and sauces. Gourmet Burgers, Ingredients and Preparation Guide Gourmet burgers are a great way to elevate the classic burger with high-quality ingredients, creative toppings, and delicious sauces. Here's a breakdown of the key ingredients and step-by-step -step instructions to make your own gourmet burgers. Ingredients for Gourmet Burgers For the burger patty 1 pound, 450 g, ground beef, preferably 80% lean, 20% fat, for a juicy patty. Salt and freshly ground black pepper, for seasoning. Optional, garlic powder, onion powder, or paprika, for extra flavor. For the bun. For brioche buns, soft, slightly sweet, and buttery, great for gourmet burgers. Optional, potato buns or pretzel buns, for variety. Butter, for toasting the buns. For the cheese. Choose from one or more of the following. Sharp cheddar, classic, rich flavor. Swiss cheese, creamy, nutty flavor. Gruyere, melts, beautifully, nutty flavor. Brie, soft, luxurious, and creamy. Goat cheese, tangy, creamy texture. For the toppings. Bacon, crispy, for a smoky flavor. Caramelized onions, sweet, savory, and rich. Fresh tomatoes, preferably heirloom, for more flavor. Avocado, creamy texture that balances out rich flavors. Lettuce, arugula, baby spinach, or mixed greens. Sautéed mushrooms, earthy and rich. Pickled jalapenos, for heat. Fried egg, for richness with a runny yolk. Pickles, dill or bread and butter for tang. For sauces. Truffle aioli, for a luxurious and earthy flavor. Chipotle mayo, smoky and spicy. Barbecue sauce, sweet, smoky, or tangy. Sriracha mayo, for a spicy, creamy twist. Pesto, fresh, herby, and vibrant. Ketchup and mustard, classic, optional for simplicity. Instructions, how to prepare gourmet burgers. Prepare the burger patties. Form the patties. In a bowl, combine the ground beef with a pinch of salt and freshly ground black pepper. You can also add garlic powder or onion powder for extra flavor. Shape the beef into four patties, about one inch thick. Make a small indentation in the center of each patty. This helps the patty cook evenly and prevents it from puffing up. Cook the patties. Heat a grill or cast iron skillet over medium high heat. Grill or pan fry the patties for about 4 to 5 minutes per side for medium rare, adjust for your desired level of doneness. Add the cheese on top during the last minute of cooking to allow it to melt. Use a lid to help melt the cheese if needed. Let the patties rest for a few minutes after cooking to keep the juices inside. Toast the buns. While the patties are cooking, butter the buns lightly and toast them in a pan or on the grill until golden brown. This step prevents the bun from becoming soggy once you add the sauces. 3. Prepare the toppings. Caramelize the onions. Slice onions thinly and cook them in a bit of butter or olive oil over low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes until golden brown and soft. Season with a pinch of salt and a little sugar to enhance sweetness. Sauté the mushrooms. Slice mushrooms and sauté them in a hot pan with butter until they are golden and tender. Season with salt and pepper. Fry the egg, if using, fry an egg sunny side up in a small pan until the white is set, but the yolk is still runny. Add a pinch of salt and pepper. Assemble the gourmet burger. Spread the sauces. On the bottom half of each toasted bun, spread a generous layer of your chosen sauces, such as truffle aioli, chipotle mayo, or barbecue sauce. Layer the toppings. Start with the cooked patty on the bottom bun. Add a slice of your chosen cheese, gruyere, cheddar, or goat cheese work well. Top with fresh lettuce, arugula or mixed greens are perfect. 
Add caramelized onions for sweetness and richness. Add sautéed mushrooms for an earthy flavor. If using, add crispy bacon for a smoky crunch. Optionally, add avocado slices for creaminess or a fried egg for richness. Add a few pickles, dill or bread and butter, or pickled jalapenos for a tangy or spicy kick. Finish with the top bun, place the top bun on the assembled burger, pressing it gently to hold everything together. Serve. Serve your gourmet burgers immediately with your choice of sides, such as crispy fries, onion rings, or a side salad. Kebabs, lamb, chicken, or beef grilled and served in pita with salad and sauces. Kebabs, Ingredients and Preparation Guide Kebabs are a versatile and flavorful dish that can be made with a variety of meats, vegetables, and marinades. They're popular in many cultures, from the Middle East to South Asia, Europe, and beyond. Typically, kebabs are skewered and grilled or roasted, creating a smoky, charred exterior while keeping the inside juicy and tender. Here's a guide to making delicious kebabs at home. Ingredients for kebabs Protein options, choose one or more. Chicken, boneless thighs or breast. Lamb, leg or shoulder, cut into cubes. Beef, sirloin or ribeye, cut into cubes. Fish, salmon or swordfish, cut into chunks. Shrimp, peeled and deveined. Vegetables, for veggie kebabs or to add to meats. Bell peppers, red, green, or yellow, cut into chunks. Onions, red or yellow, cut into wedges. Zucchini, sliced into rounds. Mushrooms, button or portobello, halved or left whole. Cherry tomatoes, whole or halved. Eggplant, cut into cubes. Pineapple chunks, for a sweet and savory flavor. Marinades and spices. A good marinade is key to flavorful kebabs. Here are some marinade ideas based on the type of meat you're using. For chicken. 1 cup plain yogurt, acts as a tenderizer. 2 tablespoons olive oil. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 tablespoon lemon juice. 1 teaspoon ground cumin. 1 teaspoon ground coriander. 1 teaspoon paprika. Salt and pepper to taste. For lamb. A quarter cup olive oil. 2 tablespoons lemon juice. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 tablespoon ground cumin. 1 tablespoon ground coriander. 1 teaspoon cinnamon, optional, for warmth. Fresh herbs, rosemary, mint, or parsley. Salt and pepper to taste. For beef. A quarter cup soy sauce, for umami. 2 tablespoons olive oil. 1 tablespoon Worcestershire sauce. 1 tablespoon Dijon mustard. 1 tablespoon honey, for sweetness. 1 teaspoon garlic powder. 1 teaspoon onion powder. Freshly ground black pepper. Salt to taste. For shrimp slash fish. 2 tablespoons olive oil. 2 tablespoons lemon juice. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 teaspoon smoked paprika, for a subtle smokiness. Fresh herbs, like parsley or cilantro. Salt and pepper to taste. For veggies. 2 tablespoons olive oil. 1 tablespoon balsamic vinegar. 1 teaspoon dried oregano or thyme. Salt and pepper to taste. Preparation steps for kebabs. Prepare the meat. Cut the protein, chicken, lamb, beef, or fish, into even cubes, about 1 to 1.5 inches in size, to ensure they cook evenly. For fish or shrimp, you may want to skewer them with vegetables, to prevent them from falling apart while cooking. Marinate the ingredients. In a bowl, mix the marinade ingredients for your chosen protein. Add salt and pepper, to taste. Place the protein in the bowl with the marinade, making sure all the pieces are coated. Marinate for at least 30 minutes, but for best results, marinate for 2 to 4 hours or even overnight in the fridge. If you're making vegetable kebabs, you can toss the veggies in olive oil, balsamic vinegar, herbs, salt, and pepper, before skewering. Prepare the vegetables. If you're using vegetables, cut them into uniform pieces so they cook evenly on the grill. 
skewer the vegetables alternating with the protein. This gives a balanced flavor and ensures the vegetables cook through as the meat grills. Soak the skewers. If you're using wooden skewers, soak them in water for at least 30 minutes before threading the meat and veggies. This prevents the skewers from burning during grilling. Thread the skewers. Skewer the marinated protein and vegetables alternately onto the skewers. Leave a little space between each piece to ensure even cooking. You can use a variety of combinations, such as chicken with bell peppers, lamb with onions, or beef with zucchini and mushrooms. Grilling the kebabs. Grilling method 1, on the grill, charcoal or gas. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. Place the skewers on the grill and cook for about 3 to 5 minutes per side, depending on the thickness of the protein. Chicken should reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit, 75 degrees Celsius. Lamb and beef can be cooked to your preferred doneness, medium rare, medium, or well done. Fish and shrimp cook very quickly, in about 2 to 3 minutes per side. If you're grilling vegetables, they may need a little extra time to become tender, about 10 to 12 minutes, turning occasionally. Baste with extra marinade or olive oil during grilling for added flavor and moisture. Grilling method 2, in the oven, broiling. Preheat your broiler to high and set the rack about 4 to 6 inches from the heat. Place the skewers on a broiler-safe pan or baking sheet. Broil for 3 to 5 minutes per side, turning halfway through, until the protein is cooked and has a nice char. Chicken, 165 degrees Fahrenheit 75 degrees Celsius. Lamb and beef, as desired, medium rare, medium, etc. Fish and shrimp, until opaque and cooked through. Loaded fries fries, topped with cheese, bacon, sour cream, and other fillings, like jalapenos or chili. Loaded Fries, Ingredients and Preparation Guide Loaded fries are a perfect comfort food that takes crispy fries to the next level by piling on a variety of toppings. From cheesy to spicy, savory to fresh, the possibilities for loaded fries are endless. Whether you're serving them as a snack, side dish, or even a main, these indulgent fries are sure to satisfy. Here's a guide on how to make delicious loaded fries at home. Basic Ingredients for Loaded Fries Fries. You can either make your own fries or use store-bought ones. Frozen French fries, crinkle cut, shoestring, or steak fries are all great options. Fresh potatoes, to make homemade fries, typically russet potatoes for their crisp texture. For homemade fries, wash and peel potatoes, cut into strips, and fry or bake. Cheese. Cheddar cheese, shredded, it melts beautifully. Monterey Jack, mild and creamy. Mozzarella, stringy and melty. Blue cheese, for a sharp, tangy flavor. Parmesan, for extra savory richness. Protein, optional. Add a protein to make the dish heartier. Ground beef, seasoned with taco seasoning for a Mexican flair. Shredded chicken, barbecue chicken works well. Bacon bits, crispy and smoky. Pulled pork, for a southern twist. Chili, for a hearty topping. Fried chicken tenders, cut into strips for added crunch. Sauces and dressings. To add flavor and moisture, drizzle on these sauces. Cheese sauce, creamy and melty. Sour cream, for tanginess. Ranch dressing, creamy and herby. Barbecue sauce, for a smoky sweet kick. Buffalo sauce, spicy and tangy. Guacamole, for a creamy, avocado touch. Sriracha mayo, for a spicy and creamy combo. Toppings and garnishes. Green onions, chopped, for freshness. Jalapenos, sliced, for heat. Tomatoes, diced, for a fresh contrast. Lettuce, shredded, for crunch. Cilantro, fresh and aromatic. Pickles, sliced, for acidity. Chopped red onions, for a bit of bite. Olives, for a briny touch. Basic loaded fries recipe. Ingredients. Frozen fries or four large russet potatoes, for homemade fries. One to two cups shredded cheddar cheese, or a mix of your favorite cheeses. 
half a cup cooked ground beef, seasoned with taco seasoning or your choice. Bacon bits, about half a cup, cooked. Sour cream, for drizzling. A quarter cup chopped green onions. A quarter cup jalapenos, sliced. Barbecue sauce or ranch dressing, for drizzling. Instructions. Prepare the fries. Frozen fries, cook the fries according to the package instructions, bake or fry them. Homemade fries. Wash and peel the potatoes, then cut them into even strips, about a quarter inch thick. Fry, heat oil in a deep fryer or large pot, to 350 degrees Fahrenheit 175 degrees Celsius. Fry the potato strips in batches for 4 to 6 minutes, or until golden and crispy. Bake, preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit 220 degrees Celsius. Toss the potato strips in olive oil, salt, and pepper. Spread them on a baking sheet and bake for about 25 to 30 minutes, flipping halfway through, until crispy. Cook the protein, if using. If using ground beef, cook in a pan with taco seasoning, or your favorite spices, and a little olive oil until browned and cooked through. If using bacon, cook until crispy, and crumble it into bits. If using shredded chicken or pulled pork, reheat the protein in a pan or microwave. Assemble the loaded fries. Once the fries are cooked, transfer them to a large serving platter or a baking sheet. Layer the cheese, immediately sprinkle the shredded cheese over the hot fries so that it begins to melt. Add the protein, top the fries with your cooked ground beef, bacon bits, or shredded chicken. Drizzle with sauces, drizzle cheese sauce, ranch dressing, barbecue sauce, or sour cream over the fries. Add the toppings, garnish with green onions, jalapenos, tomatoes, and any other toppings you prefer. Serve immediately. Serve your loaded fries while they're hot and gooey. You can serve them with additional dips like sour cream, guacamole, or hot sauce on the side. Taco soft or hard shell tacos with fillings like chicken beef, or beans, topped with salsa, sour cream, and guacamole. Tacos, Ingredients and Preparation Guide Tacos are one of the most versatile and delicious dishes, offering endless combinations of fillings, toppings, and sauces. Whether you're making classic beef tacos, chicken tacos, fish tacos, or even vegan tacos, there's a taco for every taste and occasion. Here's a guide on how to make delicious tacos from scratch. Ingredients for tacos. Tortillas. Soft corn tortillas, classic for many traditional tacos, especially in Mexican cuisine. Flour tortillas, more pliable and perfect for larger fillings. Hard taco shells, if you prefer crispy tacos, though not as common in traditional Mexican tacos. Protein options, choose one or more. Ground beef, seasoned with taco seasoning. Shredded chicken, often seasoned with a flavorful marinade. Grilled chicken breast, diced or sliced. Grilled steak, thinly sliced, often marinated in lime, garlic, and spices. Fish, like tilapia, mahi-mahi, or cod, often grilled or fried. Shrimp, lightly seasoned and grilled. Tofu or tempeh, for vegan options. Black beans or refried beans, for a vegetarian option. Toppings. Shredded lettuce, for crunch. Chopped tomatoes, fresh and juicy. Diced onions, red or white, raw for a little bite. Cilantro, fresh and aromatic. Shredded cheese, cheddar, mozzarella, or cotija. Avocado slices or guacamole. Sour cream or Mexican crema. Salsa, red or green, fresh or roasted. Pickled jalapenos, for heat and tang. Lime wedges, for squeezing over the tacos. Hot sauce, optional, for extra spice. Radishes, sliced, for crunch and freshness. Cabbage slaw, for added crunch and tang. Sauces. Salsa verde, tangy, green sauce made with tomatillos. Chipotle mayo, creamy and smoky. Pico de gallo, a fresh tomato onion, cilantro, and lime salsa. Guacamole, for extra richness. Ranch dressing, for a creamy twist. Basic taco recipe. 
Ingredients Tortillas, soft corn or flour, 8 to 10. Protein, ground beef, shredded chicken, or grilled fish. Toppings Shredded lettuce Chopped tomatoes Diced onions Fresh cilantro Shredded cheese Guacamole or avocado slices Salsa or hot sauce Lime wedges Sour cream, optional Instructions Prepare the protein For ground beef, brown 1 pound, for 50 g, of ground beef in a skillet over medium heat Drain excess fat, then add taco seasoning, store-bought or homemade, along with a quarter cup of water. Let it simmer for 5 to 10 minutes until the seasoning has soaked in. For shredded chicken, cook 2 to 3 boneless, skinless chicken breasts in a pan or slow cooker with garlic, lime juice, chili powder, cumin, and salt. Shred the chicken once it's cooked, then return to the pan with any remaining juices, for more flavor. For grilled steak, marinate steak, such as flank or skirt, with lime, garlic, cumin, chili powder, and olive oil. Grill to desired doneness, then slice thinly against the grain. For fish, season your fish fillets, like tilapia or cod, with chili powder, garlic powder, lime juice, and salt. Grill or pan fry for 3 to 4 minutes per side until flaky and tender. For shrimp, marinate shrimp in a mix of olive oil, garlic, lime juice, cumin, and chili powder for 15 minutes. Grill or sauté for 2 to 3 minutes until pink and cooked through. Prepare the toppings. Chop lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and cilantro. Slice avocado and limes into wedges. Shred cheese, if needed, cheddar or cotija is great for tacos. Make or prepare salsa, either buy it pre-made or chop up fresh ingredients to make pico de gallo. Warm the tortillas. Heat a dry skillet or griddle over medium-high heat. Warm the tortillas for 20 to 30 seconds on each side, or until slightly crispy and warm. Alternatively, wrap them in a damp paper towel and microwave for 15 to 20 seconds. Assemble the tacos. Place a warm tortilla on a plate. Add a generous spoonful of your protein, ground beef, chicken, shrimp, etc. Top with shredded lettuce, chopped tomatoes, diced onions, cheese, and cilantro. Drizzle with salsa, guacamole, or sour cream. Add pickled jalapenos, radishes, or a squeeze of lime for extra freshness. Serve. Serve your tacos immediately while the tortillas are warm. Garnish with extra lime wedges, cilantro, and hot sauce on the side. Hot dogs simple or gourmet-style hot dogs with toppings like caramelized onions, cheese, and sauces. Hot dogs, ingredients and preparation guide. Hot dogs are an iconic, classic street food that's quick to make, incredibly versatile, and universally loved. Whether you like them with simple condiments or loaded with creative toppings, hot dogs offer endless possibilities for customization. Here's a guide to making the perfect hot dogs at home. Basic hot dog recipe. Ingredients. Hot dogs, for beef or pork hot dogs. Hot dog buns, for soft classic buns. Ketchup, optional. Mustard, yellow or Dijon. Relish, optional. Chopped onions, optional. Instructions. Cook the hot dogs. There are several ways to cook hot dogs depending on your preference. Grilled. Preheat the grill to medium heat. Place the hot dogs on the grill and cook for 5 to 7 minutes, turning occasionally, until the skin is slightly charred and they're heated through. Boiled, bring a pot of water to a boil. Add the hot dogs and cook for 5 to 7 minutes, until heated through. This method keeps the hot dog soft and juicy. Pan fried, heat a skillet or frying pan over medium heat. Add the hot dogs and cook for 3 to 4 minutes on each side until crispy and browned. Microwave, place the hot dogs on a microwave-safe plate and heat for 30 to 45 seconds, or until heated through. Toast the buns, optional. You can toast the buns lightly on the grill or in a skillet for about 1 to 2 minutes. This gives them a little crunch and adds flavor. Alternatively, you can microwave them for a few seconds to warm them up. 
Assemble the hot dogs. Place each cooked hot dog into a bun. Add your choice of toppings, mustard, ketchup, onions, relish, or sauerkraut are traditional favorites. Or get creative with cheese, chili, or jalapenos for a unique twist. Serve. Serve immediately with a side of chips, fries, or a cold drink. Pizza slices, from classic margarita to creative topping combos, pizza is a popular street food choice. Pizza slices, ingredients and preparation guide. Pizza is one of the most beloved foods around the world, and pizza slices are the perfect way to serve up this delicious dish. Whether you're making a classic margarita, a loaded meat lover's pizza, or a creative vegetarian pie, pizza slices can be customized to suit any taste. Here's a guide to making perfect pizza slices at home, from the dough to the toppings. Ingredients for pizza slices Pizza dough Store-bought pizza dough for a quick and easy option. Homemade pizza dough, for a more authentic, scratch-made pizza. Basic pizza dough, homemade. Two and a quarter TSP active dry yeast. One and a half cups warm water. One tablespoon sugar. Three and a half cups all-purpose flour. Two tablespoons olive oil. One teaspoon salt. One teaspoon garlic powder, optional, for extra flavor. Instructions. Dissolve yeast and sugar in warm water and let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes until frothy. In a large bowl, combine flour and salt. Gradually add the yeast mixture and olive oil. Knead the dough on a floured surface for about 8 minutes until smooth and elastic. Place the dough in a lightly oiled bowl, cover, and let it rise for about 1 hour or until doubled in size. Once the dough is ready, Punch it down and divide it into smaller portions, depending on how many pizzas you want to make. Pizza sauce. Tomato sauce, store-bought or homemade. Crushed tomatoes, for a thicker, more rustic sauce. Tomato paste, for a richer flavor. Olive oil, garlic, dried oregano, basil, and salt, to season the sauce. Simple pizza sauce. One can, 15 ounces, crushed tomatoes. 1 tablespoon olive oil. 1 teaspoon dried oregano. 1 half TSP garlic powder. 1 half TSP sugar, optional, for sweetness. Salt and pepper to taste. Fresh basil, optional. Instructions. Heat olive oil in a pan over medium heat. Add garlic and saute for 1 minute until fragrant. Add crushed tomatoes, oregano, sugar, salt, and pepper. Simmer for 15 minutes, stirring occasionally, to blend the flavors. Remove from heat and stir in fresh basil if desired. Cheese. Mozzarella cheese, the most common choice, shredded or fresh. Parmesan cheese, for sprinkling. Cheddar cheese, for a sharper flavor, great with toppings. Provolone, fontina, or goat cheese, for variety or gourmet pizzas. Toppings, choose your favorites. Pepperoni, a classic topping. Sausage, Italian sausage or chorizo. Mushrooms, fresh or sautéed. Bell peppers, sliced. Onions, red or yellow, sliced. Olives, black or green. Bacon, crispy bits. Fresh basil for margarita or other fresh toppings. Anchovies, for a traditional touch. Tomatoes, sliced, for a margarita pizza. Spinach, fresh or sautéed. Arugula, for a peppery bite after baking. Pineapple, for a sweet contrast. Chili flakes, for heat. Feta cheese, for a Mediterranean-style pizza. Egg, a poached or fried egg on top for a breakfast-inspired pizza. How to make pizza slices. Prepare the pizza dough. If using store-bought dough, follow the instructions on the package. For homemade dough, after it has risen, preheat the oven to 475 degrees Fahrenheit, 245 degrees Celsius. Roll out your dough on a floured surface to the desired size, about 12 inches in diameter for a large pizza. If you want a thicker crust, you can roll it out smaller and if you prefer a thin crust, roll it larger. Preheat the oven. 
Preheat your oven to 475 degrees Fahrenheit, 245 degrees Celsius, or as high as your oven will go. A hotter oven will create a crispier crust. If you have a pizza stone, preheat it in the oven for about 30 minutes for an extra crispy crust. Assemble the pizza. Spread the sauce, using a spoon, spread a thin layer of pizza sauce over the rolled out dough, leaving a small border around the edges for the crust. Add cheese, sprinkle a generous amount of shredded mozzarella cheese, or a combination of cheeses, over the sauce. Add your toppings, layer your toppings of choice on top of the cheese. If using vegetables like mushrooms or bell peppers, consider pre-cooking them slightly to remove moisture and prevent sogginess. For meats like sausage or pepperoni, arrange them evenly across the pizza. Bake the pizza. Transfer your pizza to the oven, on a pizza stone or baking sheet. Bake for 10 to 15 minutes, or until the cheese is melted and bubbly, and the crust is golden and crisp. The exact time may vary depending on the thickness of your dough and the toppings. If you like your pizza extra crispy, broil it for an additional 1 to 2 minutes at the end. Slice and serve. Once the pizza is done, remove it from the oven and let it cool for a few minutes. Use a pizza cutter or sharp knife to slice the pizza into wedges, usually eight slices for a large pizza. Serve hot with extra parmesan, chili flakes, or a drizzle of olive oil for added flavor.